My name is Sister Eileen Sullivan. I'm a Sister of St. Joseph. I have been here at St. Michael's Cathedral for 15 years, and I am the Outreach Minister here at Cathedral. When I talk to the deacons and other people about pastoral ministry, two things. You use your common sense, and you leave your egos behind. You know, it's not about me. I never know sometimes what I'm going to be doing from day to day. However, I do know that on Saturdays and Sundays, I attend all of our Masses. I am at the door and greet the people before all Masses and at the end of Masses. You okay? All right. All right. I'll give you a call this week, okay? You take care of me, all right? All is well with you. This parish is such a diverse parish. It's a wonderful parish. It's small in parish. We don't have um, a lot of members, but we have really wonderful members. We have three hospitals that we are responsible for that our, our most of our parishioners go to. I visit the, the homebound and um, hospitals and nursing homes. It's wonderful and it's sacred and it's, it's a holy time to be with people that are really so vulnerable and so honest and so so sincere. I can bring God's love to them and that's, that's what I try to do. I try to just be there and they know that they have someone that is connected with God. It makes me feel good because I can do something for them that brings a light smile to their face. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. She lights up my life, she really does. She's always pleasant. She doesn't act like she's hurried. She takes her time to listen to me. I just, I just love her. Our, the body of Christ. Amen. I, I try to go to people's homes um, at least once every, every three weeks. If I can't get there, I call them on the phone to say, you know, see how they are. Maritza is just a delightful woman who um, struggles because she can't come to church because of her health. So what would you like to pray for today? For my health, um, my family's health. She's always been there for me and my family um, through good times, bad times. When I need a smile or um, feeling low or depressed, you know, or down, I give her a call. She's always there for me. She's always there for me. I am on the um, diaconate board, and um, I work with candidates and aspirants who um, are wanting to be de deacons and making sure that they know what the pastoral aspect of their role will be. I do a first first Friday. Um, we've I've been doing that since I came here. The business people, men and women had the opportunity to come and start their their day, their first Friday of every month um, in, in Mass and prayer. My ministry is wonderful. I mean, it's just every part of it. It's so diverse. There's so many things, but um, it's such a gift. I mean, I love to work with the people. I love this line in Scripture. He grew with age, grace, and wisdom, and I think that that's what's helped me in this ministry. I think Every day and every year, I have grown with age, grace, and wisdom.